This is the solution to question 7. By either factoring or completing the square. Okay, so can we think of two numbers whose product is negative uh, 40 and whose sum is negative 6? Well, 1 and 40, no. 2 and 20, no. 4 and 10, yeah. How about positive 4 and negative 10? So x plus 4 multiplied by x minus 10 is equal to zero. So the solutions are negative four and positive ten. Easy enough. So now for part B, however, <coughs> can you think of two numbers whose product is negative forty-three and whose sum is negative six? No. That's not gonna work. Okay. So then factoring won't work. So then it said we're going to complete the square. Okay. So then we'll collect the terms with x minus 6x. And exclude uh, the terms without x. x squared minus 6x. And then now we're going to add 9 and subtract 9. So add 9, subtract 9. And that number right there and there is always something over 2 squared, and the something over 2 is always this number. So half a negative 6 is negative 3, squared is 9, add that much, subtract, subtract the same. So the minus 43 here is equal to 0. So now the first three terms can be written as a square, x minus 3 squared, and then minus 9. 43 equal to 0. So then we can collect the constants together. x minus 3 squared and then minus uh, 52 equals 0. So x minus 3 squared is 52. So we couldn't figure out how to factor it, uh, and in the end, the reason why we couldn't figure out how to factor it uh, is more or less because 52 doesn't have an integer square root. Okay, so we want something to square, something to square that will end up being 52. Well, there's two uh, possible answers. Uh, X plus 3 or sorry, x minus 3 should be either positive or negative square root 52. So the answers are 3 plus or minus square root 52, which you could write as x is 3 minus the square root of 52, or x is 3 plus the square root of 52. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so for part two, solve by factoring. Okay, so apparently we can factor it. So how about mm, x minus 5 multiplied by x plus 2? zero so the answer is x is five x is negative two 
Now we have the exact same quadratic uh, equation, except now we're told to use the quadratic formula. Okay, fine. So x is negative, negative 3, plus or minus the square root of negative 3 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 10 all over 2 times 1. So x is 3 plus or minus the square root of 9 and then plus 40, so square root 49 over 2 So 3 plus or minus 7 over 2. So the two possibilities are x is 3 minus 7 over 2, or x is 3 plus 7 over 2. Well, 3 minus 7 is negative 4, divide by 2 is negative 2. And then 3 plus 7 is 10, over 2 is 5. And of course, the same as above. Okay, and then on number 3, factor. Okay, so we want to factor this. Uh, can you think of two numbers whose product is 6 and whose sum is negative 8? Uh, no. <clears throat> can you? No. So, instead, what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to switch to the related problem of we're going to solve... three x squared minus eight x plus two equals zero. So we're going to solve that equation. So we're going to do that with the quadratic formula. So x is negative negative eight plus or minus the square root negative eight squared minus 4 times 3 times 2. All of this over 2 times 3. So x is 8 plus or minus the square root. Uh, well, how much is this? Uh, so that would be 64 minus 24. So let's verify that with the calculator. Negative 8 squared minus 4 times 3 times 2. Yeah, good. So square root 40. And then all over 6. So there's two possibilities x is 8 minus square root 40 over 6 and x is 8 plus the square root of 40 over 6 now the thing is is that this must factor in the following way it must factor as x minus something multiplied by x minus another something. And then there must be a coefficient that goes right here. So this coefficient goes right there. And then as for these, what goes in these slots, it is 
these solutions. So the factorization is here x minus 40 over 6 and 8 plus square root 40 over 6. And that's the answer.